Hey guys, now here I've got my hands on the nice Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus CE Python Edition Calculator. So as you can see already on the box it says ideal for mathematics at science at secondary school. So I think that's really possible with this calculator because it's one of the most popular graphing calculators and it comes with these two cables one i believe is to charge the calculator itself and another one is to connect it to your computer now i'll get to that in a second so now let's open our nice sliding case it's really smooth and fits in perfectly so you have your keys and they're all spaciously placed with all the functions stated neatly and there's a nice large screen for you to see it pretty clearly I guess and now let's turn it on so this is your spot for doing your normal arithmetic so let's just do a few simple problems 8 divided by 2 and then 5 times 2 it's pretty simple so now I would like to get a bit more like a bit more deep into this so here we have to convert a decimal point into a fraction so let's say we have 0 0.5 and now to convert this into a fraction, you will need to press the math button and then fraction, enter. Now you can see it says 0 0.5, you convert into a fraction and now we can just press enter and there you have 1 by 2. Now to do the reverse of it, to convert a fraction into a decimal, it's pretty much easier. So just do 1 by 2. And there you have it, 0 0.5. So there's not much of a difference. Now, if you let's move on to the apps. So there are a lot of apps in this: Finance, Cabri Junior, Cell Sheet, Easy Data. My personal favorite is the Periodic Table. So here you have it, the Texas Instruments Periodic Table. Let me just press Enter again. Now here you have the Periodic Table with all the elements. Let's just click any element at random, beryllium. And here you have, if you press enter, you get all the detailed explanations about each e each element. So it's atomic, number is four, symbol, everything like that. So let's quit that. Let's press clear. And now let's move on to the main part of this calculator, which is Python. So let's, you can use this just by just clicking apps and then scrolling down all the way to Python or you can just click program and then the second one's Python app and as you can see it's loading all my files so I've already been into Python coding so this is really good for me because I really like Python and it's an easier base program for to get kids involved into programming so that's really good because this calculator really has Python and it works pretty well with all the keys so yeah let's quit that now let's move on to the other main part of this calculator, which is the graphing. So to graph anything, you need to press the Y equals button. And then you have this. So I've already put in a graph Y equals to X. So let's graph this. It's pretty fast in graphing. Now to find the intercepts in this, you have to do. So let's first try and find the X intercept. So to find the x-intercept, which is y equals to 0, you need to press second calc, and then we need to scroll down to 0, and then press enter. Now, left bound. So you need to give it a value towards the left. So I'll give it that value. There we go, enter. So now it's marked that value. Now, right bound, we need to give it a value towards the right. Enter. Now it knows the left and right values. Now just press enter. And there you have it. Your x-intercept is 0. Or y is 0. This is x, uh, y is equal to x, so it goes through the origin. Now, to find the y-intercept, you, you just need to press trace. And then press 0 key. x is equal to 0. Enter. And then y is equal to 0. There you go. You have your x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. So now let's graph a much complex graph. So let's say if you want x square. Oh, sorry. Uh, so let's say you have x square. So x and square, and then let's scroll down to, and then just do another one x. Oh, minus one. 
let's see. So it's pretty good at graphing pretty complex problems as well. You get the nice parabola and hyperbola, so that's pretty good. And this is the calculator with using all of its functions. There are a lot more deeper functions, but I'm not going to mention these. This is just to get through the just the basics. And let's turn off our calculator. Now, if you would see, this is the port for charging your calculator. And there's a teeny tiny button right here to reset your calculator. I just observed it, so I just wanted to show you. And that was my review on this calculator. I hope you liked it, and I hope you found it useful. And it's a pretty good calculator. I recommend it to you. And it's your choice, but it's a pretty good calculator. I bought it for 100 euros on Amazon. And it's the Python edition, the latest one. So your choice. And hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.